So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and today I am filming a video I have been seeing all around booktube and that is tearing YA series. So I think a few people might have done like YA characters or like all the book series they've read on their shelves, but I wanted to do something a bit different. As you all know, I started off being a huge YA reader. I think like most people on booktube when YA was in its heyday and I just want to take it back and tier all of these like epic ultimate YA series. So I have found um, on Tear Maker um, a kind of list that I really want to do. I'll leave the link to that down below. I don't know who created it sadly, um, but I will leave the link to the list down below so you can all do it yourselves and check it out. So without further ado, I'm going to go and get onto my laptop, record my screen and show you guys which YA series I'm going to be ranking. Okay, here we go. We are doing the Ultimate YA Books Series Tier List Maker. Let's do this thing. Okay, first things first is The Raven Boys by Maggie Seafarter. As a lot of you guys know, I have read the series. I have loved this series so much. It's a while ago since I've read it, but whilst I was reading it, I remember being completely hooked by it. So I reckon this might have to be great tier. I'm moving it up. I'm moving it up. Okay. I mean, it's just such a brilliant book. If you've not read the Raven Boys series yet, The Raven Cycle, I would really, really recommend. It is amazing. Okay, so Strange the Dreamer. Okay, so this is the real truth here. I tried to read Lainey Taylor back in the day. I tried to read her, I think it might even be on this list maybe. Um, I can't remember what it was called, her first series. Um, I didn't really like it. And that's why I haven't actually read Strange the Dreamer. So I'm gonna put that here. Haven't read it. Now on to Six of Crows. My, one of my favorite authors of all time is Leigh Bardugo. I'm sure you guys all know, there's a video of um, me interviewing her on this channel. She is a goddess and Six of Crows is like one of my favorite books of all time. I'm gonna put that in God tier because like, can we just talk about it? It's incredible. Um, and it's just one of like, not even just my favorite books, it's one of my favorite fantasy books ever. If you've watched my latest video, which was well, which was um, all about my favorite fantasy books, Six of Crows features on that list because it's just so epic. Anything like a heist story, I love. Children of Blood and Bone. This is really embarrassing because I've not read it. So I'm gonna put that into the haven't read it section. I know, I know so many people love this book and it just, it was like such a phenomenon when it published, but I sadly haven't read it. So there you go. Renegades, I have read this book. So I actually really enjoyed this. I read this about two years ago, maybe a year ago, and I enjoyed it. I would put it in good tier. It was a lot of fun. It's about superheroes and it's all about betrayal and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Three Dark Crowns. I really, really wanted to love this. I really did. Sadly, I just, I thought it was like, you know, it had enough in it to grip me until the end, but I'm just gonna call it okay tier. I don't really rate it. And I know a lot of people really love the series, but I just couldn't get into it. It was a struggle to finish that book. Now, Illuminae, loads of people love this series. Um, I sadly haven't read it, so I'm gonna put it there. Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Oh my God. Can we put this in the God tier? Where is it? Go up, go up. I can't, go up. It's going up to God tier, guys. When I read this book, I was absolutely obsessed. It was obviously the first Becky Albertalli book I ever read. She's one of my favorite authors of all time. Um, and she's also just a lovely human being. So. I am very happy to say it's God tier. Like it started like kind of a wave of like LGBT commercial fiction and I love that. So that's going up there. To all the boys I've loved before, I'm obsessed with the Netflix show, um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put this as good tier. I read it, it didn't really like completely set the world on fire for me. I thought it was a really sweet contemporary romance. And I think I just like never really like got into the whole YA contemporary romance thing. Um, but I did really enjoy this and I love the Netflix show. Court Thorns and Roses. Let's just talk about this guys. Um, it's going up to God tier. I can't even start with this series. Like this is probably my favorite book series of all time. I've said it. Um, I think this was just what really cemented the Sarah J Maas love for me. 
and oh god the memories of reading this book I read it so quickly and then just like finished it and started it all over again so I feel A Court of Thorns and Roses it's god tier it started off like such a Sarah Jo Maz obsession for me love it Okay, The Diviners. I remember I read this during one of the first like booktubeathons. I don't you don't know if you remember the booktubeathon, but that was um it's now the Reading Rush. But I read it during my first ever readathon, and it is a long old book, guys. I think I'm gonna have to put this in the okay tier. Again, it was very very long for me. I'd never read anything by Libba Bray, and I enjoyed her writing. I thought the plot was really clever didn't love it. Shadow and Bone. Okay, so my opinions on Shadow and Bone. I think Lee Bardugo is obviously amazing. Six of Crows is up here in the God tier, but I didn't like, I didn't fall in love with the Grease trilogy as much as like I did with Six of Crows. So I'm going to put this in the great tier. Um, I still love those, love those books, but I think it's not quite God tier level, you know? Anna and the French Kiss. This was such a massive, like massive, massive um, thing on BookTube back in the day. And it was actually like BookTube made me read this. Um, and I just remember kind of not really getting the hype. I didn't really love it, um, mainly because I just didn't really love commercial, like contemporary YA at the time. I just wasn't a big like romance contemporary reader. I didn't love it. I'm gonna put it in bad tier. I'm gonna have people at my back now. Um, Cinder, I haven't read. That's going there. Throne of Glass, guys. We've gotta we've got to put it in God tier. We have to. Oh my God, I can't even type on the page. Why isn't it moving? Okay, it's going up to God tier. There we go. God tier. My God tier is looking pretty good, to be honest. Um, the Darkest Minds. Okay, this is gonna divide a lot of people. I remember like hearing all the hype about this book, like back in the day. And I just like, took, it took me a while to read the series. And then when I read The Darkest Minds, I was a bit like, meh, I'm gonna put it in the okay tier. It's not bad, I just, I just didn't love it. It didn't kind of like capture my attention enough to really want to continue the series. So then that's what it is. Oh my God, Divergent. Do I put it in God tier? Do I? No, I think it's great. I think it's great tier. Um, the Divergent series, has a special place in my heart because I remember being so obsessed with the first book, like beyond obsessed with the first book. However, I think the series really did kind of go downhill and by the third book, I just wasn't invested as much anymore. So it's going in the great tier. It's a really, really strong, like if we're counting it as the individual book divergent, it's great tier, but if it's the series, like it's probably like a good, a good tier or an okay tier. I'm gonna stick it in great. Twilight. Twilight. Um, it's going in God tier, guys. I don't think a lot of people know like how much Twilight like kind of affected me in the early stages of my um, adulthood. Twilight is like one of those like books that probably changed my life. Like I've met like really close like best friends of mine through the Twilight fandom, which is so crazy. But yeah, so that's staying in God tier. Love it. The selection. I remember reading that. I really didn't rate it. I'm putting this, I remember everyone was like obsessed with it at the time. Um, why can't I click on my Mac? Oh, here we go. Um, I'm gonna move it to bad tier. I'm sorry, but I just, I can't. It, it wasn't like, it didn't set me a light. It just wasn't, it didn't hook me. Um, and loads of people were like obsessed with this back in the day. So I just didn't get it. Hush, hush, however, guys, this book, I know it's literally like, in that twilight second wave where everyone was just obsessed with like fallen angels and vampires. Um, I adored this book so much. I'm gonna put it in good tier. Um, I just like was hooked. Maybe I put it in great tier. I feel like no, I'm gonna leave it in good tier because I have a tendency to like love, like overly love something and then not actually kind of criticize it. So it's staying in good tier. Matched. Oh my God, guys, I hated this book so much. It's going straight into the shit tier. I remember reading it and just being like, what is this book? Why are people raving about it? Like, why is this a thing? No, I hated it. Shiver, I haven't read, sadly. Um, this was Michael Seafarce's first YA series, The Wolves of Mercy Falls. 
um, but I haven't read this yet. So I don't even know why I'm saying yet. I probably won't get around to reading it. Anyway, The Hunger Games is going in God tier because that book series was like one of the first book series that actually got me into YA. I think I read it after Twilight, but it was the second big YA book series that like made me obsessed with the genre. So that's staying in God tier. Um, and there's also a new Hunger Games book coming out very soon, the prequel. Anyone gonna read that? I mean, I probably will read it, but it's also about President Snow, so I'm not kind of sure like if I want to read it, but we will see. Uh, the Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Oh, where do I put this? See, I remember absolutely adoring this, um, and like I really, really was a big kind of like fan of John Green back in the day. I'm gonna put it in great tier. I don't think it like set my world alight like it did other people, but it's it's going in the great tier. Harry Potter. Uh, which one is this? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <sighs> I don't know where to put this, guys. I might put it in, I think a lot of people will put this in God tier, but I think I might put this in the great tier. My reason is this, I just don't think it's like stuck with me, like as long as these other books in the God tier have. I feel guilty, I'm moving it up, I'm, I'm moving it up. Okay, this is Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, I thought it was good. But I didn't love, love, love it. I really enjoyed the movie. I'm going to put it in the okay tier. I think it's a, a good book. But then should I be putting that in the good tier? Maybe I'll put it in the good tier. It's going up. Um, Elmer and Park. I adored this book so much. Um, you know what? Elmer and Park can be great. I remember reading it and just being like so in love with it. Um, it wasn't the first Rainbow Row book I ever read. I think that was Fangirl. Um, but I did, I remember reading Eleanor and Park and just being in love. So that, that is that. Um, what is this? Oh, looking for Alaska. Oh dear, here we go. I'm going to put this in the okay tier. Looking for Alaska is a lot of people's favourite John Green book, but I just didn't love it. I just didn't, I didn't rate it. So I'm going to put it there. Oh God, the Maze Runner. I'm putting it in shit tier. And here is why. Not because of the whole kind of like James Dashner drama, you can look that up if you want. I think there was a lot of drama around him. Um, but mainly because it took me so long to finish this book. Like it didn't capture my attention. A lot of people were telling me how good it was, but I just couldn't get through it. Like I really, really struggled. And I wonder if that's because it had a male kind of like protagonist and there wasn't really a romance. That's really bad of me, isn't it? But I'm, I'm leaving it in the shit tip. Oh, the book thief. Oh my God, that book broke my heart. Um, I'm going to put it in the good tier. Um, I really enjoyed the book thief. Um, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Okay, this is where we're getting controversial, guys. I could not get into this series to save my life. I tried so many times. I listened to the audiobooks. I read the book, like Percy Jackson and La the Lightning Thief. I must have read like three times. I'm putting it in the bad tier. Should I try it again? I don't know. But like... I think now that the news that Percy Jackson is coming to Disney Plus, I may want to try the series again, but let me know if you think I should. The Hate You Give, oh my God, I loved this book. Um, I'm going to put this in the great tier. Um, this book completely kind of like changed my perspective. It was kind of like a game changer at the time and I just love Angie Thomas. So that is going there. Clockwork Angel, guys. Oh my God. That's definitely going God tier. I am obsessed with this series. The Infernal Devices series, one of my favorites ever, I would say. Um, so that is going in there, in the God tier. This is the series I've talked about by Lainey Taylor that I just couldn't get into, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There are so many Lainey Taylor fans here, but it's going in the shit tier. I have to, I'm sorry. Um, and then Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This book series, like, I can't even tell you how obsessed I was. I was like making like Tumblr graphics. I was obsessed. So this is going in the great tier up here. Um, 10 out of 10, I loved it. I'm a sucker for Rochelle Mead, like her Bloodline series as well, even better than this. So I don't know if this is like in here, 
but we'll, I'm sure we'll get to it. Anyway, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Uh, did I like this at the time? I think I did like this at the time. I just wasn't obsessed with it. So I'm gonna kind of put that in the okay tier. Red Queen, oh my God, I adore Victoria Aveyard. This is going in the great tier. Um, Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I have never read, that's easy, I'm putting in there. The Fifth Wave. Do you remember when everyone was obsessed with the fifth wave? I just, yeah, I kind of missed out on that hype. Um, I thought it was okay, uh, like an all right book. I didn't read the rest of it and I saw the film. I really enjoyed the film. So I'm putting the fifth wave in the okay tier. Everything, everything I've never read. Before the fall, no, before I fall, I've never read. Fallen, oh my God, this book. I'm putting in the shit tier. Shatter Me, one of the best books I've ever read. It's going up here in the God tier. I love Chat Me. It kind of like that whole series by Tara Maffey. Um, one of my favorites of all time. So it's going in the God tier. Carry On. I don't know what to do with Carry On. I did really enjoy it. It can go in the great tier. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I really enjoyed this book at the time. It was so kind of like um, uplifting, it's beautifully written. I'm gonna put it in the good tier. Okay, The Wrath and the Dawn, I have never read. Um, Wicked Lovely, never read. Is this gonna kind of like link up? I don't know. The Winner's Curse, one of my favorite books ever. It's going in the God tier. Wow, there are a lot of God tier books on this. Am I being like, am I not being picky enough? I don't know. Um, A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, never read, that can go here. Young Elites, I've never read. <laughs> this is just all the YA books I missed out on. Gone, never read. Scythe, never read. The Host, now we're talking. Um, I adore this book, it's going in the great tier. What's this one? Oh God, 13 Reasons Why. I never actually read that, but I'm tempted to just put it in the shit tier. I just, I don't get it. And also the Netflix series, problematic to say the least. Beautiful Creatures, never read. Every Day, never read. What's this? Um, Darker Shade of Magic, never read. Thor and Jack the Ripper, never read. Foxhole Court, never read. Five Feet Apart, never read. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. All the Bright Places I have read. That is gonna go in the okay tier. I didn't fall in love with this like everyone else did. Oh, it's so embarrassing to say that because this is like so many people's like favorite like YA books. Um, but I just sadly didn't get on with it. I'm, I don't know why. Warcross, haven't read. What is that? Either way, I haven't read that. Um, oh my God, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. That is such a kind of like booktube throwback if I ever saw one. Um, I enjoyed that book, but it's going in the okay tier. Fangirl is going up there. I need to drag that up. It's going in the good tier. Um, or should I put it in the great tier, along with Carry On? Yeah, have to. Fangirl is like one of those like pure joy reads. Like it's just so, so good. I can't even get over it. Um, I adore Fangirl, so that's staying in great. Um, Arrogant, oh my God, that's a throwback. Um, I'm gonna put it in the okay tier. I can't remember like being in love with that. I remember it's a bit of a, a slog to get through at times. Um, but then again, like this was like, this was before I read YA, I read that book. So yeah. And then The Cruel Prince, I haven't read it. It is on my TBR though. I just haven't actually read it. Um, and I've been meaning to because I know I'm going to fall in love with it. So to run down what is in, let's have a look just what I've chosen. So in the God tier, I've got Six of Crows. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, Court of Thorns and Roses, a classic, Throne of Glass, Twilight, Hunger Games, Harry Potter, his, uh, The Infernal Devices, Shatter Me, The Winner Series. I mean, I feel like that God tier is just like all the kind of cliche, like especially like Court of Thorns and Roses, Throne of Glass, Twilight, Hunger Games, Harry Potter. It's like loads of people's favorite books, but they're the favorite books for a reason. So I'm happy with that. Great tier, The Raven Boys, Shadow and Bone, Divergent, Fault in Our Stars, Elna pa Elna and Park, The Hate You Give, Vampire Academy, Red Queen, Carry On, Fangirl and The Host. I would say that's quite accurate actually. 
you know what, maybe I'm gonna move Elner and Park down to good tier. I'm just thinking about it and I'm kind of like, I've already got two Rainbow Rowl books in there. I think I enjoyed Fangirl and Red Queen, Red Queen. I enjoyed Fangirl and Carry On much better than Elner and Park. So that's going down. In the good tier, we have Renegade, To All The Boys I've Loved Before, Hush Hush, Perks Been A Wallflower, The Book Thief, I'll Give You The Sun, Elner and Park. I'm happy with that. I think that's good. And then the okay tier, Three Dark Crowns, The Diviners, the Darkest Minds, Looking for Alaska, Delirium, Fifth Wave, All the Bright Places, Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and Aragon. Yeah, I would say that's quite accurate. In the bad tier though, we have Anna and the French Kiss, The Selection, and The Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson. I'm so ashamed about that, you know, because so many people love Rick Ryden. Um, I just couldn't get into them. I'm sorry. And then in the shit tier, matched The Maze Runner, Smoke and Bone, and Fallen. Thought of Smoke and Bone and Fallen. Yeah, as I said, I just couldn't, I just couldn't get into them and like, I didn't really get what the hype was. Matched is probably like the worst one out of those just because I couldn't, like it was painful reading it. Probably not other people, like not many other people probably had that response to it, but I just for some reason couldn't get to grips. And then these are all of the books I haven't read, which is embarrassing because The Cruel Prince, I really want to read. Um, Darker Shade of Magic, I really want to read. Talking to Jack the Ripper, I really want to read as well. Um, and then Cinder's been on my TBR list for like five years, but I just haven't gotten around to reading it. Story of my life. So guys, that is it. We are done with tearing the ultimate YA books and series. But let me know what you would pick down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, this was just a little bit of fun, something different from what I usually do. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll be with you very soon in another video. Bye.